I'm gonna show you guys how to set the audio tempo of a beat. I understand not everybody out there is a beat maker. You wanna make sure that you can snap your audio to the grid. Just snap your choruses right on time. Copy and paste, duplicate your choruses. It'll snap right on the tempo grid. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Like this video, I'm gonna need you guys to hit that subscribe button, notification bell. The love has been real, man. So look, let's get right into it. First thing first, all right? This is Studio One Five Professional. Uh, I think this works with artists too, but just kind of watch how I work with Five Professional and see if that's cool for you. So new song, and let's just empty, uh, just call it Tempo, Find, Finder, and then uh, set it, I'll just save it where, where it's at, and then leave all that. Okay, so look, stretch audio files to song tempo. You want to make sure that that's checked. If that's not checked, check that. You can leave all this the same and press OK. Now, this is how I find it. I'm not like some expert pro at it. Uh, I'm just I'm just like you. So I'm just trying to get my beat up in here. I'm going to drag and drop it. Shout out my guy, Ryan, from uh, I Make Fire Beats. I'm just doing MP3. Um, and these have the uh, tempo already set to it already talking about it but I'm gonna show you how to find it so this already tells me 125 so I already know but in your case you probably don't know what it is but in any instance you'll see I make this large this setting bar little tool thing right here and you're like oh, okay that's telling you that your tempo is off so what you got to do is find the tempo so um, with studio one five professional I know this is new thing where I could right click and it'll tell me in the file tempo right there, even if it doesn't uh, say. But look, most of the time, oops, most of the time it says this. And as you could probably have seen, it just turned. Like, it's just went a nudge. Watch, Control Z, see that? It moved. Control Y, redo, it moved when I went to not set. And that's probably what yours says. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if mine says that because I got the tempo already written on there. But, uh, and if you can't find it, you could either scroll until you don't see it anymore because you don't see the toolbar right here because it's set um, on 125. Oh, sorry. 125. It's going to say right there, 125, you want to set it. Now, put on the metronome and test it. I'm going to show you how to find it if you don't know what it is. So that's it, but it might be a little slow. If it's a little slow, you zoom in all the way. This is important. This is probably like the most important part. You want to zoom in and turn your toggle snap off. Sorry. Toggle snap off and go right up in there and slide it to the beginning. Now let's hear. That's it. So it's better. That little 0.1 of a second made all the difference so what we're going to do is find it so if you like z man i don't know uh where it's at i go to uh what is it i go to google i'm not sure if this is already google but mp3 to bpm and it's get song bpm that's what it is all right i click that you could even find a key in a song and a tempo and then you would drag your uh, files right here. So same one. Even though I know it's 125, let's just go ahead and click it. It's processing. It'll show up. Now, this says 123. Now, it only says 123 because of that little gap. I, I, I'm pretty sure. But let's, hey, let's test it and see if it's capped. That's what I like to do. Let's see if TuneBat is better because I don't want to give you guys the wrong stuff. We clearly know it's 125. So, feel me? I mean, hey, TuneBat, I just did this. I just tried this on TuneBat. I did get the correct key and the correct temp uh, tempo. The Get Your Song BPM, 125, and it tells you F minor. So, I definitely recommend TuneBat off of the other one we just did, uh, Get Song BPM. Yeah, I I don't know why they did that. I think it's because of that second. Uh, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting a bit fitted out. But these guys got it right, so I don't know. But uh, 
Now you would set it. You would go to right click, set it. Now here's the last part. Go to uh, your inspector window when you click this, and make sure this is on time stretch, not on don't follow, cause it won't follow the tempo. Now I got it set, so even if it's on don't follow, it's still gonna follow. But if you don't have it set and you didn't click that box in the beginning when we open up this song, then uh, yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna run into some issues. But uh, yeah, all right. So let's just add a track, even though I'm gonna sound doubled because I'm in addition. I'm gonna just add a mono track, and I'm not even gonna uh, push the monitor. So I'm gonna just show you real quick. I'm gonna turn on my toggle snap, and I'm actually gonna turn the quantize to one eight. And I'm gonna just show you how easy it is to copy and paste with the, uh, you know, the tempo. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, you know, I'm just. Alright, so if I wanted to just take that, let's listen. I swear you love me though. Uh, yeah, I swear you love me though. Oh yeah. Now press D and drag that over. Keep that toggle snap on. I might have to go to 116. 116 just means simply more uh, lines on the grid. The timeline. Oh yeah. Uh, I swear you. All right, I'm gonna take out the uh, and I'm gonna get out. I swear. Oh yeah. I swear you love you love me though. Uh, yeah. I swear you love me though. See, it's on beat. Easier than having to slide it. I swear you love me though. I was here. Click, 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 click. I swear you love me though. Click, 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 click. I swear you love me though. You see what I'm saying? Click, click, click. Yeah, I swear you love me though. Click, click. So that's the power of knowing what the grid is. I hope that this video helps somebody, man. Make sure you got your metronome on. Make sure you got that notification bell on. You know what I'm saying? If you subscribe to my channel, just make sure, just do me a favor. Make sure that notification bell is on. If you guys have any ideas, any requests that you want me to do, I'm down to do it. Just know that. It might take me a second to get to your video idea, but I'm trying to get to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay motivated. 2021, it's all about helping you guys. Not trying to spend all this money at studios. Not trying to catch COVID or nothing like that. Do this stuff at home. Learn how to do it yourself. Thank you guys for watching me. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. It's all love. God bless. I'm gone.